A population is a group of individuals of a single species living in the same general area. Population ecology is the study of populations in relation to environment, including environmental influences on density and distribution, age structure, and population size. Density is the number of individuals per unit area or volume. There are three sampling techniques that can be used to estimate densities and population size, including extrapolation from small samples. For example, counting squirrels in a randomly selected area to calculate the average density and then extend the estimate to the population size in the entire area. Another sampling technique involves indicator of population size, such as the number of nests, burrows, or tracks. The third sampling technique is mark and recapture. In this method, in order to estimate the population, a portion of the population is captured, marked, and released. Later, another portion will be captured and the number of marked individuals within the sample will be counted. This method assumes that marked and unmarked individuals have the same probability of being captured and sampled. Therefore, the total population size can be obtained by dividing the number of marked individuals by the proportion of marked individuals in the second sample. Dispersion is the pattern of spacing among individuals within the boundaries of the population. There are three patterns of dispersion. A clump dispersion is the most common dispersion in which individuals aggregate in patches, which may be influenced by resource availability and behavior. In a uniform dispersion, individuals are evenly distributed, which may be influenced by social interactions, such as being territorial. In a random dispersion, the position of each individual is independent of other individuals, which occurs in the absence of strong attractions or repulsions. Demography is the study of vital statistics of a population and how they change over time. A life table is an age-specific summary of the survival pattern of a population. It is best made by following the fate of a cohort, which is a group of individuals of the same age. A survivorship curve is a graphic way of representing the data in a life table. Survivorship curves can be classified into three general types. Type 1 exhibits low death rates during early and middle life and then an increase among older age groups. An example would be humans. In type 2 survivorship curve, the death rate is constant over the organism's lifespan. An example would be a squirrel. Type 3 survivorship curve involves high death rates for the young, then a slower death rate for survivors. An example would be clams. For species with sexual reproduction, demographers often concentrate on females in a population. A reproductive table, also known as fertility schedule, is an age-specific summary of the reproductive rates in a population, which tallies the number of female offspring produced by each age group. It is useful to study population growth in an idealized situation, in which the change in population size equals births plus immigrants entering population, subtracted by deaths and immigrants leaving population. For simplicity, the change in population size over a fixed time interval, denoted by delta n over delta t, equals to the number of birth minus the number of death, ignoring the effects of immigration and immigration. This equation can be further rewritten in terms of per capita birth rate b and per capita death rate or mortality m. Per capita means per individual, and the per capita birth rate is the number of offspring produced per unit time by an average member of the population. The difference between per capita birth rate and the per capita death rate can be defined as the per capita rate of increase, or R. When the birth rate equals the death rate, R equals zero and there is zero population growth. Exponential population growth is population increase under idealized conditions, which results in a J-shaped curve in a plot of population size against the number of generations. The general equation for exponential growth is dn dt equals to the instantaneous per capita rate of increase r instantaneous times the population size n. Exponential growth cannot be sustained for long in any population. A more realistic population model limits growth by incorporating carrying capacity, denoted by k, which is the maximum population size the environment can support. In the logistic population growth model, the rate of increase declines as carrying capacity is reached, represented by the equation dn dt equals to instantaneous per capita rate of increase times n times carrying capacity minus population size over carrying capacity, which produces a sigmoidal curve. Organisms have finite resources, which may lead to trade-offs between survival and reproduction, such as the frequency of reproduction, number of offsprings, and the investment in parental care.
the traits that affect an organism's schedule of reproduction and survival make up its life history. The life history traits favored by natural selection may vary with population density and environmental conditions. There are two patterns of life history traits. R selection or density independent selection selects for life history traits that maximize reproduction. Birth rate and death rate do not change with population density. Whereas K selection or density dependent selection selects for life history traits that are sensitive to population density, in which birth rates fall and death rates rise with population density, which is an example of negative feedback that regulates population growth. Density independent selection is mainly affected by weather and periodic disturbances whereas density-dependent selection may be affected by competition for resources, territoriality, disease, predation, toxic wastes, and intrinsic factors, including hormonal changes that delay sexual maturation and depress the immune system when the population density is high. In crowded populations, increasing population density intensifies competition for resources and results in a lower birth rate. Density-independent selection favors many offspring with fast rate of development, little parental care, high death rates, and short lifespan. On the other hand, density-dependent selection or case selection favors few offspring, long development, extensive parental care, low death rates, and long lifespan. Our selected species often exhibit semi-parity, also known as big band reproduction, which reproduce a large amount of offspring once and die, such as Pacific salmon. Case selected species often exhibit heteroparity or repeated reproduction, producing offspring repeatedly. Highly variable or unpredictable environments likely favor big-band reproduction, while stable, dependable environments may favor repeated reproduction.